But from one passionate nature nerd to another, that's what he likes to be called. He's also a vet. His name's Dr. Sean McCormack. And he's a man who likes to investigate when he hears that there's new wild neighbours that have taken residence in his Ealing neighbourhood. I couldn't believe it when I heard a rumour of a surprising mammal species in my local park. I read the social media post that day and I was down the park that very same evening. I remember hearing what I thought might be tawny owl chicks in the trees above me. But when I looked up and scandaled my torch, an unfamiliar four-legged mammal came scurrying down the branch. It turns out the rumours were true. A population of edible dormice in Ealing. Ever since then, I've been coming out to spot these nocturnal mammals. And I'm seeing them pretty regularly. It's sitting here watching me and I can see its two ears moving like this. It's listening. I'm delighted. This really is like a needle in a haystack. More than a hundred years ago, in 1902, a handful escaped from a private collection in the Children's. But here in Ealing, we're some 35 miles away. And they're not just turning up in the tree canopy. Edible dormice love to live in buildings like this during the summer. They'll seek warmth and shelter here during the day before going out and feeding in the trees at night. in old squirrel drays, birds' nests and tree cavities in the wild, but they will also nest in man-made structures like this loft space. So I'm going to need my torch on to uh, have a look in here. And I have left a trail camera in here. Wow, this space is absolutely ideal to shelter in. And I can see all along here there are lots and lots of droppings. We can see multiple juveniles here which means they've bred this year. But while they seem to be doing well here, it's not necessarily good for Ealing or for London. I'm off to meet Roger Trout, who's been studying edible dormice here in the Chiltern since 1995. With over 200 nest boxes up throughout the woodland, he's working under license to gather data on population and reproduction rates as well as the effect these non-native mammals are having on native species. What has their population been doing over time here specifically in the Chiltern? Well, when, when we started this particular project in, in 1995, we were catching perhaps 10 animals. Right. We're now, on some years, we're dealing with 800 individuals. So they're doing very well here. They have come up by an order of at least tenfold. And our latest estimate is that the population in the children's and around the children's area now they have spread is somewhere between quarter and half a million wow. baseline. And when they breed, that will be moving up okay. the numbers as well. So they really have, after 120 years, they've suddenly seemed to have got going. Okay, so looking at the size of this adult, I think I'm seeing the juvenile the last few weeks in Ealing. Yes. She is really big. She is a serious size. How are you? Right, so here's here's an adult female. Now, Roger, I know you're not going to like me for this, but they are quite cute. <laughs> well, they may look cute on camera, yeah. but actually they're really bad news. As a an in, non-native invasive species, in a good year, when there are lots of animals out, they may be taking 50% of the whole nesting birds yeah. in this wood. That's what I've been measuring over the last 10 years. We know that they're disturbing bats, displacing them out of, out of bat boxes. Yeah. And once they get into houses, they're really bad news. They will just follow all the pipework from floor to floor. They can be in the cavity walls, underneath the ceilings, eating cables. So, Roger, obviously it's a complete mystery to me where they've come from in Ealing. Any ideas? Well, there are two obvious options. Either somebody picked some up, young ones up from a wood and took them home and they then escaped. Yeah. Or possibly they've moved along the railway lines and the road edges where there's adequate trees. Yeah. But it doesn't surprise me that they're moving into London 
and in fact that's actually quite bad news. With all of Roger's data collected for today, it's time to reunite the family. With her two babies. Good stuff, Roger, thanks. Well, despite these being very adorable looking, they are an invasive species and they're not without their problems. So I'm very interested to find out how extensive their population is in Ealing and West London. By all accounts, they could be popping up across the capital in the next few years. So if you are out after dark and you hear a rustle or a squeak in the treetops, it could just be an edible dormouse. Ooh, that is a little bit of a dilemma. It's Cute really animals, is. but they gotta go. Yeah, and do you know what? I've never seen an edible dormouse. That's another one for my bucket list. Well, not here. <laughs> well, not in Wales, Sophie. No, not in Wales. It looks